Off the Pacific coast in the Salish Sea lives the Orsinus orca, also known as the Southern Resident Killer Whale. Sounds scary, right? Nah, they don't actually kill. In fact, they don't hurt humans. Believe it or not, they are actually the largest type of dolphin. Unlike their terrifying name, they are playful and highly emotional, just like us humans. Orcas are very loyal mammals. They live with their families for life, in groups called pods. Each pod speaks a different language than other pods. Within each pod are many family units that come from a single female ancestor, with a female leader called a matriarch leading the family. This population of orcas eats salmon, which is the main source of food. They use echolocation by sending out clicks and using the echo sound to find salmon. They can consume up to 100 to 300 pounds of salmon per day. Orcas are our best friends. Unfortunately, there are only 74 southern resident killer whales left in the world. These orcas are dying because of three main reasons. Firstly, and most obviously, there has not been enough salmon and food in the oceans where they live because humans are fishing too much in their habitats. Secondly, noises from ships interfere with echolocation, so they can't communicate with the family, putting them in danger. Thirdly, they live in oceans filled with chemicals and garbage that they mistake for food. These cause the orcas' bodies to develop problems, preventing baby orcas from being born. If we don't do something about this, southern resident killer whales will become extinct and gone forever. Not only will we lose our best friends, the food chain will also be broken and more ocean life will die. The good news is that you can help. In fact, there are so many simple things we can do to help orcas. We can buy sustainable and ocean-friendly food. This symbol, the ocean-wise symbol, means that the fish had been caught without harming sea life, including orcas. This means that they will have enough salmon. When boating, we can reduce our boat noises and stay 20 meters away from the orcas. Start supporting our local stores, like buying fruits and veggies that are locally grown in our province. We can also buy clothes that aren't shipped overseas so that boat noise don't disturb the orcas. Next, be careful of where you dispose of plastic waste. Avoid single-use plastics such as plastic forks, spoons, bottles, bags, and straws. These usually end up inside oceans that orcas live in. Instead, use reusable bottles, lunch containers, metal straws, and cutlery. You can clean the seashore with your families too. Lastly, spread the word. Tell at least five of your friends or family members. Tell them about the threats and what they can do to save the southern resident killer whales.